likes, reviews and tutorials video. Something that I learned as a kid growing up, I was on my grandfather's farm and on my uncle's farm. One of the jobs we used to have to do pretty often is uh, dig out rabbit burrows. As you can see here, I get down ground level, there's a great big mound of dirt behind that. This is a very, very big um, burrow here. <coughs> and there's a warren around. A, a rabbit warren is what you call when there's lots of burrows all together and normally you're connected. See the grass has been eaten away in a huge big area around here where they've been camping out and staying close to these holes. So there's a lot of rabbits here. And up here, we've started on the main um, burrow. I wanna show you how we're doing. Now, down here is where it was. It ran down to here. What we did, we used a mattock to start off with and just broke through the top and dug along. And what we're doing, in order to save work, we're not just chucking the soil everywhere, but we're putting the soil back um, where we've broken through the burrow and then standing on it as we work through. And once we get deep enough, like where we are down here, um, we're going to expose the hole and then put a great big rock in it, or a, a, a rock the size of the hole, and then we'll fill that in and smooth it over. <clears throat> and while we're here, we're also going to be going for these um, little holes that are around, the little starting places where they've clearly started to scratch um, and started to dig again here. Some of that will also be natural erosion, but um, here there's clear spots where they've been digging. So we'll just level all those out and rake it all up and um, get all the holes. And then it's a matter of monitoring this. This is a non-poison way of doing it. If you, um, yeah, a little bit of netting. Someone's probably tried to block their holes and do something before. Um, so if you're gonna use 1080 or a poison or something like that, you can lay that first. And then you still have to dig the, the warrens out because, or dig the burrows out, because otherwise other rabbits will just come along and find this mansion and uh, want to move in. So that's deep enough. As soon as we expose the hole, and there's even a built-in rock up there on the side of there, we'll drop that rock in, um, block the hole off with the rock, and then fill that up and compact it all down, and uh, move on to the next hole. So as many as you've got, um, there's as many as you want to do. So this is a non-poison method. Non-poison method, you're gonna to have to spend a lot more time um, monitoring this, checking, you know, having a shovel with you and just checking. If they start to dig a hole, fill it in. If they've got a bit of a hole going, fill it in. Um, and eventually they will give up. They'll go somewhere easier. There's holes up here as well. Yeah, just there's some, almost some fresh dirt there. So this is gonna take a little while, but any sort of stuff like this that you got, a bit of broken pipe there, that's what you go shoving down the hole. When you dig and deep and as far as you're gonna go, put little bits like that so they can't dig out from the, uh, from the inside. What we were working on, and it's, put my hand down there, I'm up, just up to the depth of my elbow, and that's deep enough. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put a great big rock on the hole down there, because it's deep enough and we've, we've dug far enough in, and then we're gonna fill it up and compact it and uh, just end it all off. So you don't have to get any more soil out, just clear the hole out. We'll knock that rock and we'll put that down in place. You do need something solid down there. So if there are rabbits in there, you don't want them digging out um, from the top. So we'll get another rock and we'll stick it over the top of that. Um, and then we'll fill it all in. So there it is. Um, we've got a couple of big rocks down the bottom and then just a whole lot of little rocks over the top. If you want to eat the rabbits, you can just dig it out, but don't do that if you've poisoned them or if there's you know, any diseases around or something like that with the rabbits. Um, but just big rocks down the bottom and then rocks like that, and then we'll fill it up and stamp it over the top. And as I said, you will have to maintain this. You'll have to stay on it, but this is the non-poison way of doing it and just getting the rabbits to go somewhere Next else. One. So the procedure again, really quick, we get the mattock, we dig along the top, just exposing the hole and going as far as we can until we're sort of as deep as we can get. And then a couple of big rocks, and then fill it up with rocks uh, over that area, and then fill the hole, and then backfill, and get it all flat. And uh, hopefully, we'll move these guys on. So there we go, we've started, dug along, 
and uh, there's the hole down there so we're just striking the mattock down vertically and pulling all the soil back so we're filling this hole as we go so dig along until it's as deep as you can get you'll be doing down behind it and here's the remnants of the hole here and we're through to here and you see it still goes off a long way in that direction and it's also had another tunnel down in this direction so we're just about deep enough for those two now getting ready to fill it all up with rocks and then fill it over the that's top. where the big hole was just carrying in soil as I said I learned this from my grandfather he'd be 110 120 by now so these are the old skills of an old farmer who um, used to deal with rabbits before poisons and things like that also when you're talking poisons is he still down there yeah have a look down here where is he in front of that bush there I'll zoom up you can see the kangaroo down there so if you put a poison like 1080 down there's a risk that you're going to poison the kangaroos as well and we don't want to do that rabbits are a pest and in you know not supposed to be here in Australia um, but uh, kangaroos are supposed to be here in Australia so that hole's nearly full we'll get a couple more shovel loads on it what I'm doing here all the scrapings I'm just scraping that back up the hill and putting it up here and where all that rabbit poo is keep all that because that'll fertilize it. that'll really help to get the grass growing here again so there's the finished product um, nice and level nice and flat ready for grass to grow um, and there's plenty of grass seed around here so it should just come all by itself with the rains um, but there you go no sign of a warren left and uh, rocks down the bottom so they can't dig out if there are any down there sorry to the greenies but they're rabbits and we are trying to get rid of them and the other one's coming along just a few more shovel loads in there and then we'll be ready to smooth it out